Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren from the blog, laurennicolejones.com. And today I'm moving out of the kitchen and I'm actually gonna be talking about sunscreen today because it's on my mind. It's really sunny outside. We're gonna be outside all day today. And I've been trying out so many different sunscreens that have worked and have not worked for my kids. So I wanted to share what I have found. Now, when I'm talking about sunscreen, I'm not just talking about any sunscreen. I'm talking about non-toxic, chemical-free sunscreen. Now, this is really important because I have three boys that are young, and I have myself, and then my husband also is wearing sunscreen. So, we wanna make sure that we're putting on clean sunscreen that is not filling our bodies with toxic chemicals. And so, this is what I have found for the best options to date. But before I dive into what I've found success, I wanna talk about what a chemical sunscreen is. If you haven't heard that term chemical sunscreen, it's your basic sunscreen you find at the store. It's your copper tones, it is your banana boats. For the most part, chemical sunscreens are easy to apply because you put the lotion right on your skin and it soaks right into your skin. The only problem with that is most of those sunscreens are loaded with chemicals and those chemicals are going directly into your skin which goes directly into your bloodstream and into your body. We like to use mineral sunscreen and what mineral sunscreen is in short is it's sunscreen that lays on top of your skin. It doesn't get soaked directly into your body. So a lot of times it has zinc oxide, it has a white layer and many times people don't like that but we have found a really nice clear zinc option that it it rubs in nicely and I feel you can't even tell you have zinc on and it does block all of those harmful rays. The only downside to mineral sunscreen is if you're swimming you need to reapply it at least every two hours because it does layer on the top of your skin and it's not soaking in to your largest organ so you will need to reapply it. The big question we were asking is mineral sunscreen reef safe and the answer is yes as long as it doesn't have oxybenzone, octocrylene, and homosalate, octanoxate, I could be present pronouncing these wrong. Those are all ingredients found in your regular sunscreens that are known to kill coral reefs and do a lot of damage to the ocean. Just be sure to check your ingredient label on your sunscreen and if those sunscreens do contain those ingredients, you will want to discard them or not use them because they do contain chemicals. So you might be wondering, what are the best sunscreens to buy then? The first up on my list is All Good. This comes in a butter stick form and I love how easy it is to apply and it is reef safe, it does have organic ingredients and the kids do not get burned with this stuff. So I will give you just a little idea of what the All Good sunscreen looks like when I put it on. I'll just do it on my hand right here. So it was really easy to rub in and it's virtually gone. It's super smooth and it's reef safe. The next up on my list for best mineral sunscreens to use on kids is Babo Botanicals. This is a clear zinc, so it goes on really nicely to the skin and it rubs in nicely and your kids will not get burned. So this is an awesome option for anyone looking for a reef safe, organic and clean option with clear zinc. And coming in at number three, but not third best, is Think Sport. It can still rub in nicely and you're not, you don't look like a ghost with white skin. So Think Sport is an awesome option if you're doing a lot of sweating, if you are outside for longer periods of time. I like Think Sport for that. So we will be lifetime customers of Think Sport as well as All Good and Babo. Those were my three favorite mineral sunscreens to use. And I use an app called Think Dirty. You can also use the EWG app and it will rate your sunscreen on a scale of clean to dirty to give you an idea of where your products lie as far as chemicals are concerned. So I will link those also in the description box below for you. And that is my full review of our favorite sunscreens. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. I release a new video every single week on motherhood, simple living, and food from scratch.